Hello YouTube. Once again, I am back. This time I have the VO out of the door. So you can take a look at it. See how it differs. It's a uh, magnet is wider and it does feel a bit heavier than the DD the DDA W6.5 and that is because it is bigger than the DD W6.5 as you can see there as well as when you put it up so that you can see them side by side you notice the DD VO is wider whereas this one is narrower. Um, one thing that I'm going to show you right now um, is not so much the difference in how they sound with the mid bass and whatnot. What I'm going to show you here is um, the difference when it comes to sensitivity because I know a lot of people, a lot of guys out there, when they're looking for a speaker, they don't understand what it means when it says sensitivity or it'll say uh, SPL for it and basically this is a way to put it so that way you can understand it. The VO here has a sensitivity rating of 98. Its RMS power is 150. This one here, it has a sensitivity of uh, 90.5. And its RMS is only 120 watts. Now, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna change the volume. I am only going to hook them up side by side. And that way you can notice how much louder this one will play off of the music that, or the power that you feed it versus this one. This one, you don't need as good of an amplifier to get it loud as you would this one. So, to show you what I'm talking about here, I'm going to hook them up. And we're listening to Scythe Morrison again, like always. I will start this over. Right now, just the tweeter is playing. Do not get confused. All right. The volume we are going to listen to it at is 18. Now, when I first took this up, it's going to be very loud. You will notice what I'm talking about. As you notice, it's not much louder. Or it's not louder. It's more, it's more subtle, so to speak. Once again. I turned it up to 24. Now listen to how much louder the VO is now. I pray that comes over the camera as it did here. 
the difference in how loud those were because the VO was so goddamn loud that shit hurt my fucking ears. So I had I had to cut that short. <laughs> But you get the difference. That's what it means when it comes to how sensitive a speaker is. Basically, if you're going to run off of your, di- off your deck directly, you're going to want a speaker. You're going to want a speaker that is more sensitive. Because even if its RMS is higher, it will play w- with whatever you give it as far as music or wattage. Whatever you feed it, so to speak. It will play it louder than one that has a lower sensitivity rating. Now that does not mean that the one with the lower sensitivity rating is a bad speaker. It's not bad at all. It just requires a much better amplifier to run it. That's the only thing that that means. So don't get me wrong, don't sit there and think, oh, so now you have to buy one that has a higher sensitivity, that's all it's about. It's not. All right? I just wanted to show all of you newbies out there that have no idea what they're talking about with that, what it means. So, just remember, if you're going to, and it really, really makes a big difference if you're using just a factory deck. I have an aftermarket deck, which, you know, puts out more power than a factory deck would. So, when you have a factory deck, it's even more important that you get one. And a good manufacturer that usually has uh, good speakers, as far as sensitivity goes, is Infinity. Infinity makes some really good speakers that are usually pretty sensitive. Their Kappas are usually like a 95, 96, something like that. So, keep that in mind if you guys are hunting for speakers. Um, that's basically what this video was about. I'll be making another one soon showing uh, what those look like installed in the doors. Later.